Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and to today's video. Um, if you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, so lovely to have you back. But most importantly, pause the video here and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'd absolutely love it if you become part of the YouTube family. I have been dying to film today's video and I feel like a lot of you are going to really enjoy it. So it is my autumn winter coat collection. I have issues guys literally I cannot fit all of my coats onto one rail like that is my current autumn winter coat collection I have one on the bed because I literally could not fit them all on I have a problem I don't know what it is when it comes to coats but I am obsessed and I am such a hoarder of coats I literally find it so hard to let them go as always all links will be below I feel like most of these are still going to be in stock because they are relatively new some are from last year like this teddy coat I think yeah so that if it's not in stock I have actually found a really really good alternative so I will make sure to link that for you so for me I'm definitely going with along the more neutral colour palette as you can see towards more of the ends of the rail um, I just I'm loving neutrals for autumn I feel like they look great with rust with camels with all of those really typically autumn hues I'm just loving that colour palette at the minute so all these coats I can literally switch with so many outfits in my wardrobe hopefully I'll be getting lots and lots of wear out of these coats over the next coming months some are a lot warmer than others some are smarter some are like there's something for every occasion so i really hope you enjoyed today's video guys i can hear the rain hitting the window and i feel kind of really cozy inside so go make yourself a pumpkin spice latte a gingerbread latte something cinnamony if you like cinnamon if you don't like cinnamon a oat milk hot chocolate get cozy and i really hope you enjoyed today's video first up is this trench coat so this to be fair i did wear this last weekend and i had a hoodie underneath and because i was like running up to london and like rushing around it was actually really really like fine i wasn't cold but it is like quite a thin material so i feel like for this you know we have those days where the weather's just a bit all over the place something like this is perfect but i feel like as well this is something that you will have in your wardrobe and you'll just keep bringing it out every season like it's perfect when we transition from summer to autumn i feel like we haven't we didn't really have that it literally went from heat wave to autumn and we we missed the transition period i was like hello where can when can i wear my trench coat um so this one is from asos this color it just epitomizes autumn for me it reminds me of a conquer i absolutely love it so it's like this like waterfall style i really like that this is like a soft relaxed take on a trench coat it's not a structure and it's got these gorgeous buttons on the front here they're tortoiseshell i will bang on till the cows come home about how important buttons are on a coat for me like it literally takes a coat from a four to a ten or it can take it from a ten to a four and just make it look so cheap like some brands get it so wrong i'm like why why this one is very long it's got a belt at the back i've just worn it like open i had what did i wear this with oh yeah i had some rust like gym leggings on and then a cream hoodie that was such a vibe like i love it so yeah i got this one in a size eight i would say it's definitely an oversized fit so stick to your usual size in this one again not the warmest one so do bear that in mind but it's a kind of great layering piece and i'm definitely gonna tuck this away after autumn and bring it out next year so i love this one the old h&m in brixton to the rescue with this because i saw this on instagram and i was like that jacket so it's like a shirt jacket as it's known a shacket which are literally everywhere for autumn if you have been living under a rock then you will not have seen or known what the shacket is but they are the I would say the key piece that you need in your wardrobe for autumn. So this one I saw on Instagram and I was like, I absolutely love that. Went onto the H&M website and it was only available in, I think, an extra large. And I was like, I love oversized 
but I think that's just going to be a little bit too oversized for me. I have a feeling I went into Brixton after I think last week on my way back from London and um, the H&M in there I find is so good. I can't find something online nine times out of ten they'll have it in the Brixton store. Went in the last one in a size medium large so this is actually quite oversized but i feel like i definitely needed the extra size because of my height i am about five seven five eight and i kind of wanted to wear this more as like a dress if that makes sense so i want to layer a jumper dress underneath and then this over the top so it's long enough to wear with over the knee boots like what a vibe so it's this gorgeous check i really really like the colorway of this and it's got this fringing here and also at the bottom of the jacket i am obsessed with this so it's a wool blend it was 49.99 and i got this in a medium large so again not the thickest one but i find that i'm leaving the house and i'm wrapping up in like so many layers and then i am literally like sweating my ass off so this is perfect i feel if i like put a knitted jumper dress underneath it's going to be perfectly fine and i can't wait to wear this and again i feel like that because of the colors and the check it's definitely something that you can pull out of your wardrobe next season as well moving on to a blazer i already have this in like a beigey nude color i think i got it last i either got it last autumn or the autumn before and I will say time and time again, the quality of Andor Stories blazers in particular is like a 10 out of 10. They are of a higher price point, but one, like get them dry cleaned once a year. And I don't think I've even dry cleaned mine and it's nude and it's still in perfect condition. I saw this one and it's exactly the same version as my cream one, although, I got my like, creamy nude one in a 36 and I got this one in a 38 and I thought I went up a size because I wanted it a little bit more oversized. Um, so something that if you are new here you probably won't know about me. I always size up in my knitwear and in my outerwear because I think it looks more expensive. I don't like feeling like a giant marshmallow or Michelin man. So it's always good to size up to have a little bit more room to wear like a big cosy jumper underneath. So this wasn't as oversized as I thought so just bear that in mind. So I got this one in a 38 and like European size which I believe is is that a, t a 10 or a 12 um i always get so confused with european sizing my little pea brain is literally like huh so this one was 165 pounds very expensive yes and this was gifted to me from and other stories i do like a monthly collaboration with them so yeah i understand that obviously for a blazer it is very expensive but i i can't i cannot tell you how amazing the quality of this is like you can't fault it so this is what it looks like inside it's got a really nice lining a lovely pocket here for all your essentials so fully lined um pockets here really lovely buttons because you know how important that is to me and then yeah that's what it looks like from the back so quite a boxy structure fit i don't actually own a blazer in this beautiful khaki color uh, it's in between like a khaki and a brown i've got some nude faux leather leggings and i think or oh, should i say trousers this is gonna look insane with this and like a nude or a beige jumper and then this layered over the top like that's that's going to be an autumn vibe if i do say so myself if you guys saw my asos video i will link it here if you did not you would have already seen this coat oh my god like i am obsessed with this coat so it's like a long very long line maxi coat and it's got these kind of button details on the sleeve these gorgeous buttons here this very structured lapel it is fully lined inside as you can see i am so impressed by the quality of this i mean for a like asos i feel like the quality it, it's very hit and miss sometimes like i find their knitwear especially for the price is so soft and such good quality but you know sometimes you can get the occasional dress that feels a little bit thin when this arrived 
it for me looks like it could be like caramillon or something like that it's gorgeous my favorite part of this jacket is how deep these pockets are i can like fit my iphone which is basically a brick like look it's like the same size as my face and it fits so nicely in the pocket so that is definitely yes for me can't remember if this was like 80 like 80 pounds something like that i'll leave a link to this but this uh, it looks amazing with everything i'll insert a little picture here because i have posted it actually quite a few times on my instagram and so many people commented saying how much they loved it and i'm not surprised because it is gorgeous so it comes with this belt which yeah you've got loopholes here personally i haven't actually taken it off i do tend to wear it open so you can kind of see your outfit underneath but as it gets a little bit colder and i need a little bit more protection from that cold cold weather i'll belt it like a dressing gown kind of style so for me I feel like this is such a great one. It's an, a great all-rounder for autumn. So if you're kind of just looking maybe to get one coat, this is, yeah, I couldn't recommend this enough. You guys probably have seen this as well. I'm not sure if I've actually featured it on my YouTube channel yet, but I've definitely posted it on Instagram. So again, I will leave a little picture here. This is the shacket. This is from and other stories. The quality of this is amazing. So if this one was a little bit dark for you, you don't like those kind of darks, but you're more into neutrals. And I feel like this check pattern, it's such a timeless print. It's never gonna go out of fashion or date. What I loved about this is I don't really have anything of this color. And as I'm trying to change my wardrobe from more colorful prints to neutrals, something like this is such a staple for me so it does come in black and white if you don't like this one this is just a great layering piece again so it is quite thin but it's and other stories it's wool the quality is amazing it's actually surprisingly warm so you might think oh that looks really thin literally just like a, a thicker shirt but when once i have like a jumper underneath it really is so cozy so you've got these pockets here at the front and then little popper fastenings here and then that is what it looks like inside it's kind of like this this raw lined effect and then it's got a belt here in the same material which i really like so you can tie it i think that's what i did i styled it with jeans and then cinched myself in at the waist and yeah i really really like this so again i think this one was definitely over 100 pounds so quite pricey the h&m version obviously being 49.99 is definitely a lot more affordable but the quality of this again really speaks for itself so guys i'm actually so excited to show you this i i actually featured this in my top shop autumn haul week video but what i decided to do is return that one i got it in an eight and size up to a 10. i mean i probably could have even sized up to a 12 but the thing i really like about this is the kind of borg lining so i feel like for me it's even with a thinner jumper it's going to keep me so cozy and warm so this one was 79 pounds i love it's like this faux leather effect here really lovely deep pockets again you know me and then it's got this like borg is it, is it borg i think it is yeah borg um material effect running all over the jacket which i love the best part about this jacket though is it is reversible you get two looks for the price of one that is what it looks like reversed i think that's such a clever um, a little design and you've got your faux leather pockets here so once you take the tag out obviously it's missing a tag on the back which is why it's perfect for that reversible look i feel like for me i really like you can wear it both ways this you could wear with a, like a more neutral outfit whereas the black is a little bit more versatile it kind of acts as a glorified leather jacket i guess so yeah i really like this for 79 no 79.99 i feel like the quality is amazing it's such a key piece for your autumn wardrobe and it's going to keep you warm i definitely would suggest sizing up at least one size in this so like i said i got this in a 10 i am obsessed with this let me know actually in the comments which way you prefer it whether you prefer it um the 
like faux leather black side or the reverse kind of teddy bulk side i'd be interested to know so comment below guys okay this is just ultimate cozy vibes i think you guys might have seen this in my asos autumn haul week video uh, so it's this oversized biker jacket it is the coziest thing it is very oversized so this one i actually got from the tall section because i think at the time they only had tall and petite and they've since brought it out in the mainstream collection i've got the eight tall so it kind of does cover my bum which i actually really like i feel like when i was little my grandma always used to like drill into my head you have to wear a jacket that covers your kidneys it needs to go past your bum so i'm always like okay coats past my bum we're going to keep me that little bit extra warm so yeah it's got this like faux leather pvc detailing running all the way through it it's just so oversized it's so cozy it's got a zip detail and then it also like you can popper it shut so it's got that concealed zip which i really really like and again it's fully lined inside and it has nice big deep pockets here which i love so yeah this is so cozy i feel like this one is again you can dress it up and down i've worn this with like my kind of loungewear jogger sets like this but also with jeans and faux leather leggings and it looks great either way so yeah i feel like you can definitely style this up in loads of different ways and i will link the petite version and the normal version and the tall version for you in the description box below okay this little jacket is a very recent addition to my autumn winter wardrobe and i love it so it's this faux fur it feels like butter like just look at that i'm so obsessed with this so i did size up to a 10 in this i originally ordered the eight and i just felt like it was a little bit snug um well for me anyway and i decided to size up to a 10 i literally love this it's so cozy i just yeah i love neutrals for autumn i love faux fur for autumn this just i can't i wish i could just like give you this coat and you could grab it from the screen and just hug it like it's so soft i can't get over it like oh my god it just feels like i'm stroking a puppy <laughs> so again fully lined inside it's got these buttons here which are kind of yeah they're cl uh, no they're like a pale nude tortoiseshell which i actually really really like i feel like a standard tortoiseshell button would have looked really good on this too but yeah i cannot wait to wear this i feel like i'm gonna do like an all kind of nude outfit so should i say beige like beige faux leather, leather leggings and a camel jumper and some beige boots i think that's gonna be amazing so stay tuned on my instagram for that because i'm definitely gonna shoot that when it eventually stops raining in london oh my god I'm not even going to talk about it because I'm going to sound so British talking about the weather. But it has not stopped raining. <laughs> so another recent addition to my coat collection is this long line jacket from H&M. This one was $39.99. I got it in an extra small. I originally tried on the small, but it just felt a little bit like it drowned me. And I, did, I think I did, yeah, I had a jumper on. I had a jumper on at the time so i decided to go for the extra small so i wasn't actually sure how i felt about this style of jacket at first because it's so long lined for me usually jackets fall like here so i was like mm, do i like it do i not and then i saw on a few influencers and i was like no i really like that went into store um to try it on because unfortunately like i don't want to slag h&m off but i feel like their stock quantity has been really really poor online recently and also their delivery is taking like 10 days sometimes so you know when you really want something i mean for me i'm like i always want next day delivery i'm so impatient um so i went into store i tried it on i loved it i picked it up there and then and i thought 40 pounds for this was actually really good value for money so it's this gorgeous check as you can see 
um, and I feel like this is going to look so good with all my neutral outfits but you can definitely pair this with black as well so very long lined and it's got pockets on either side and then lined inside like that so yeah it's like this kind of brushed wall effect I also a pocket here and a pocket here so absolutely love this I'm so impressed with this and I think last time I checked they had all sizes available in this so um yeah like i said i'm gonna do an all neutral outfit i paired it with my i think i got some like imitation leather trousers in that kind of stony color from h&m paired it with that and it looked like amazing so yeah i can't wait to wear this again i'll definitely have this for ages it's something that i can just bring out time and time again i mean i don't know where i'm going to store all of these coats because they barely fit onto my rail as it is i might have to do Gemma's coat collection part two uh <laughs> it honestly is getting ridiculous but yeah i absolutely love this one i couldn't not do a coat video without including a teddy coat this one i got last year from nasty gal can you believe and honestly i have worn this so much the cost per wear ratio has been insane so it's this gorgeous I, to me they've got the color spot on with this it's like an actual real life teddy color so it's very oversized it's very long line it's got really really lovely pockets this just looks amazing thrown over everything i think i probably saw yeah i sized up to a medium in this one and i feel like that's what gives it that kind of expensive max mara vibe to it honestly this coat is probably one of my favorites in my coat collection so obviously i got this last year but i have seen a very very good alternative which i will link below for you this just looks great with everything it looks great layered over neutrals it looks great layered over black over dresses over little dresses with spotty tights yeah i love this so i could not include it in this coat collection because everyone in my opinion needs a giant heavy coat in their life got one more coat to show you but unfortunately i have issues and it didn't fit on my rail so i'm just gonna get it you guys would have probably seen this in my asos video that i did recently so again i will leave a link it's this oversized teddy coat in a darker more it's a different texture it's this kind of like more fluffy material um again lined inside this one is from asos i think i yeah i got an eight i would say definitely stick to your usual size in this one it is really really oversized and super duper long i love this obviously i love the classic teddy coat in that really lovely teddy color but i really like the darkness of this which again looks amazing with camels and with neutrals so another teddy coat for you to feast your eyes on and yeah i just they're so snuggly like i just i just literally i think after this video i'm gonna go downstairs and make myself a pumpkin spice cappuccino because i bought some pumpkin spice syrup from amazon i will link it below honestly it's a game changer it will change your life yeah that is my autumn winter coat collection quite big maybe a little bit excessive but when it comes to coats i just have zero self-restraint I, I i literally don't know what it is so I hope that I have given you some inspo for maybe if you're looking to pick up a coat for autumn and to update your coat collection yourself. I am obsessed literally with every single one. So I've got a question for you guys. I want to know which one from my coat collection is your favourite. Can you pick? If you can leave me a comment below and let me know which is your favorite and if you've made it to the end of the video if you can't pick your favorite coat then just comment with teddy coat thank you so much for watching thank you so much for your continued support any new subscribers thank you for hitting that subscribe button i will leave my instagram on the screen here it's at Gemma talbot you can go and check me out over there have a lovely day guys whatever you're doing staying safe staying dry and um yeah i will see you very very soon bye guys